Hello viewers, how on a day? Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so we will always give you updates as soon as it drops. There is a new headline that I shook my head reading. <laughs> is this really how bad things has become? Now let me read the news to you. Hope was the man named 2020 SDG most friendly governor. Did you hear that? The International Association of World Peace Advocates, IAWPA, has named Imo state governor. Hope was the 2020 Sustainable Development Goal, SDG most friendly governor in Nigeria. <laughs> The association also urged the United Nations, UN, African Union, AU, and Economic Commission for West Africa State, ECOWAS, um, the New Partnership for Africa Development, NEPAD, and the international community to visit and invest in Imo State. So, according to them, Uzodema is now their eminent ambassador because Uzodema is pursuing peace in his leadership style in Imo State. Hey! <laughs> Epo Church! You know, I'm still wondering the constitution of this blind organization. Even despite that I will approve investing in Imo State, that is a good idea. But I'm still wondering the constitution of such organization. They said the governor is neither tribal nor ethnic in his administrative style, making him a true nationalist. You know, he sells land to Fulani, so he's a true nationalist. He gives them, he dashes their land. He was the mice carrying everyone along and leaving no one behind. Uh, irrespective of class, age, color, religion. Hence, the social inclusion in his uh, administration covers the five P's of the SDGs, you know, meaning people, planet, peace, property, partnership, um, staff and said. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to Abia State. Um, okay, they as say, stop dragging Abia behind. We can't support Biafra at the moment. He is advising IPOB. Could you imagine that? The governor of Abia State, Okezi Bazo, he is, has explained why leaders from the southeast, why they, the leaders, will not accept Biafra agitation to take place in that their region, southeast. According to him, the leader of IPOB um, is dragging the southeast region behind. Um, uh, you know, they are missing several economic opportunities from the federal level, from the federal ports. According to him, we need to protect our economic interests first and move and the move will um you know protect millions of Igbos living outside the region maybe their safety is talking about their safety the so also spoke um, after an interview with a state house journalist um you know after a meeting with the presidency recently he said about 11.6 million Igbos are living outside the southeast so he reacted um, um, when he was asked about the recent tension arising from agitation by the indigenous people of Biafra in the state. And the journalist also reminded him that Nandi Kano, the IPUB leader, hears from the state. Please, we would like to know what you think. Do you support what this man said? He, meanwhile, he's not the only one. Um, even Iqbal, um, former governor of Anambra says, if he said, forget Biafra, South is ready to go, the Southeast is ready to go on their knees uh, to beg for the presidency to be zoned to Southeast. Could you imagine? Former governor of Anambra State, Chukwu Emeke, is if in California, the Kaivena. He said, the people of Southeast geopolitical zone will go on their knees to beg other zones if it becomes um, necessary. They will have to nail down so that. That 2023 presidency will not keep the Saudis. That is an opportunity. Um, he said this while in Oka during the launch of Global Movement for President of Igbo Extraction in 2023. There was a launch on Monday. Now, still, polit politicians are provoking me. Can someone tell us what we are going to do with these politicians? Not just the Southeast. Now, let me tell you something happened that it touched me so much. Look at what happened to our money. You know, I was, I'm still crying since I saw this. 
thinking about it. This money would have changed the life of a lot of people. The political thieves stole, stole public funds. They hid it somewhere. Now the money is worthless. And you know what pains me too? Some other politicians are still stealing as we speak and they are hiding it away. You know nowadays uh, the bank reports to EFCC when certain amount of money comes into an account. An amount that is not regular. So there are some kind of money that is bigger than safe, you know. So what the politicians do is to bury this money on the ground or build houses and pack them in. And you know, long period of stor storage and the condition of storage and termites and other things can affect the money. Heat too. It is so sad. And another thing, with two blowers, no see this money. That's how painful it is. If they have seen it, EFCC will see this. But what will EFCC do with this money? Since EFCC is corrupt, uh, look at the current, um, the ongoing case the EFCC boss is facing. Reluting, looted funds. So, who are we going to even trust? You give it to EFCC, okay, you raise an alarm as a waste blower. You report to EFCC. And some of the times, <laughs> even waste blowers are in trouble now. A lot of them. You raise an alarm, EFCC will go to the uh, place, have an agreement with the person who kept the money, and arrest you for raising false alarm. You see how it's, it's, the situation is so bad in this country. My people now, well done. Now, verse I verse I they talk this one so. The video one they look so. Now, our people are politicians. Our money when they hide, now be this. Use them or not use them. Spend and not spend them. They hide them from different places. Wrap and for Ghana must go back. Use clothes, wrap and put something inside cupboard. None of the money they carry use. People there, they're hungry. They die for hospital because they don't feel pay money for operation. So not feel eat, they don't feel send their children to school. Now I want human being hide all this plenty of money for one corner when we say money self you not use them. The money self you don't decay, you don't spoil. What till they do us? Now wait till they do us when all this nonsense won't stop. Eh? This is so painful and sad. When all this nonsense won't stop, when we say our our leaders, our politicians, when we say now we vote them put for there, it don't turn to another thing. It be like say no other job for Nigeria at all nowadays. The only job where they Nigeria now to be a politician. Even the ones where just a finish school, where just they graduate from university, they won't be politicians, no job at all. This is so shameful. This is so annoying. Which kind of thing is who do us this one? Which can cost be this one? This one are money where politicians, our leaders, them loot when they hide. Use them, not use them. Eh? Whoever do this one, will be say, now he hide this money, will be say, people die. Man die, woman die, children die. People not feel it. Sickness keep people. And somebody keep this money for one corner, will be say, he not let people see, use, he not give people, even if he not feel use them. The person will do this kind of thing. Peace in not go get to. Even if you go in grave, peace is still not get because this money will solve a lot of problems for people. I just make us see waiting our politicians, make us see waiting people when don't root Nigerians, don't turn to now waiting that they do be this one. And as we see the talk, so some people still get for her, so when they say they don't hide though, they never fear, they never let them put them for banco because right now that they monitor people when get money for accounts, they don't hide money for houses for their various houses. Even bush and farm, they don't hide money. They could not see the evidence. Now then be this. Now wait till I say make a show now be this. This is so shameful. I bet make could not share this video where we make it go viral and make people know what they go on. Okay? Now well done, my people. Now do well. I did verse. Better verse. Now, let's get back to um, our, our LF, the topic we just talked about. Um, Southeast governors and our politicians, top people in the Southeast, uh, they are not interested in Biafra. 
the other one um okay zipazu said talking about biafra limits us there are certain things according to him that we will get from the national post from the federal government but when we talk about biafra um the federal government might withdraw this and you know they could say our place is restive and you know the, 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 the interest of the federal government is one nigeria so according to this governor by when we keep talking about biafra we are limited we are marginalizing ourselves by ourselves please we would like to know what you think about this um as if said as if for as if his eye is on the presidency as if the former governor of Anambra state Okwadike, the one with uh, for no deca, for no <laughs> uh, he said he, he, if he requires the Igbos to kneel down and beg other regions in the country to beg them hmm, for what is supposed to be our right uh, on a normal day he said if he requires going on his knees to beg them to allow Igbos to be president that he will do that is to say those who are agitating for Biafra should be shoved aside this these are what all these politicians are saying what do you think please add your comment on the comment section give advice to these politicians and if you're in support too we want to know why you support them if you are opposed to what they are saying we want to know why you oppose to why you're opposed to it add your comment we'd like to know um for me uh we having Igbo presidency is long overdue and it has come to a point we don't even need it as for me i think the best thing is having our own nation i don't know about you that is why i say add your comment on the comment section of this channel now we want to also know what do you think about this um um awards or uh, ambassadoral um award yeah appointment or something like that given to uh, the governor of Imo state who is a supreme court governor uh, he's they, they said he is somebody that has the, the environment he has the way he has put him that he's a peace loving man he respects everybody he is this and his dad and so and they are they are recognizing him for me i'm seeing that <laughs> if you ask me to add my own view i think that award is influenced by how suffer and the people. These people are, they are too much. They know how to play politics. They would have influenced their award. And it's a sign for us somehow. This guy will continue to give out our land to these people. For personal aggrandizement, for, you know, just to be healed. And because those who installed him need to be rewarded so now he's um all over the place oh he's gotten an award best governor by this group that i don't even know when they started you could imagine that so please i would like to know your contribution what do you think about this um, um award that is given to this governor a governor that is pushing a law currently um you know this law was filed into um the criminal law of Imo state to hold to arrest and keep people without court approval without anything and to detain them as much as he like this is the governor that they you know it makes you to query the composition of that award the composition of the body giving that award please Add your comment we would like to know um, please don't fail to subscribe to our channel also click on the bell icon to get our updates i'm azuka also og bye for now